Hello, good morning to you all, my wonderful children. How are you doing today? I am Mr. Ogularu, your loving and caring teacher. How are you all doing? How are your parents? I hope you're keeping safe and you're following all the safety precautions that you are getting on a daily basis from the NCDC and from WHO. And the one I give you here each time I come online to teach you. All right. How are your parents and how are you doing? I hope you've been going through all the classes I have been dishing out via this medium. Okay. I have come your way once again today for an interesting topic. And today we shall be looking at social studies. What did I say? Today we're looking at social studies and we're going to be looking at differences between a man and a woman. So, like I told you earlier on, our topic today is social studies. And we're going to be looking at differences between a man and a woman. Differences between a man and a woman. Now, if I may ask you, who is a man? If I may ask you, who is a man? But before, keep that question in mind. Let me take you through the behavioral objectives or what we call the learning objectives. Those things you're expected to know at the end of this class. Number one, at the end of this lesson, each of you are expected to be able to give the definition of a man. Like I asked you earlier on, who is a man? And I will ask you again, who is a man? Who is a woman? Now, after this behavioral objective, we're going to be going into details who a man is and who a woman is. Then secondly, you're going to be able to give definition of a woman. And thirdly, you're going to list, you're going to be able to list the differences between a man and a woman. Now, like the question I asked previously, look at this picture over here. Who do you think this person is? Yes, you're seeing someone who is muscular, handsome looking person. Huh? Yes, this is a man. This is a man. This is a man. And the definition of a man is what I put up here. A man is an adult male human. A man is an adult male human. Now, an adult is a grown up, is a mature individual. An adult male is not a boy. Are you getting it? An adult male is not a male baby. An adult male is a grown up individual. Are you getting it now? So a man is an adult male. That is someone who is grown up. Now, now let's look at who a woman is. Let's look at who a woman is. Who do you think a woman is? Look at this picture right here. This is a picture of a woman. Beautiful looking woman. Elegant looking woman. Now, who is a woman? A woman is an adult female human, an adult female human being. Now, like I told you in the definition of a man, a man must be a grown-up male. A woman also must be a grown-up female. So a grown-up female is a woman. An adult female human being is a woman not a girl, not a baby, a grown-up female. Now, quickly, we're going to be looking at differences that exist between a man and a woman. There are various differences that exist between a man and a woman. Take, for instance, the house you're living in. You will notice some differences between your father and your mother. Aside from that, Within the family, your siblings, your siblings are your blood-related brothers and sisters. Those are your siblings. Now, if you look within your siblings, you will notice some differences between 
the females and the male. Now, look at the following differences. The following are the differences that exist between a man and a woman. One, a man has a strong muscles than a woman. A man has stronger muscles. A man has stronger muscles than a woman. That is true. Men are muscular in shape, in figure. They look sturdy. They look strong. They have muscles. They are much stronger than women. That's true. So men have stronger muscles than women. Women that you see that have stronger muscles and are looking muscular, they are those ones who go to the gym to build up their body, maybe for sports, activity, or for other purposes. Now, but naturally, men are stronger than women and men have stronger muscles than women. Now, look at this. The second point, a man has deep voice while a woman has soft voice. Men have deep voices. Why women are known to have soft voices? You see women, you hear women talk like this. Hello, honey, how are you doing? Even girls, hello, hello, hi. But men are known to talk like a man. Good morning, how are you doing? My name is Mr. Ogulara. You get it now? So men have deep voices Why women have soft voices. Now let's look at the next example. A man grows beard and mustache. Why a woman don't? Have you ever seen a woman that grow beards and mustaches just like I have here? Have you seen any? Have you seen any woman that have this kind of beard that I'm having on. No, women are known not to have beards and mustache. Next point is a man protects and provides for the family Why a woman takes care of the family and the home. So men provide for their families. Why? Women takes care of the home and the family. So these are basically some of the differences that exist between men and women. Now, I want to, the next slide I'll be showing you are some funny and interesting differences that exist between men and women. They are so interesting, at the same time, funny, but true. So let's look at them. Let's look at some of interesting differences that exist between a man and a woman. Some of the differences that exist between a man. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. Look at the woman right here. How we see colors. How men and women see colors. We see colors differently. We see colors differently. Okay, look at the woman. The woman, you can see quite a number of colors right here. Quite a number of colors. But the major colors that men see, basically maybe red, blue, pink, orange, yellow, green, you know, just about five colors. Why women? You will hear women say something like, Onion red, tomato red. Have you, haven't you heard something like that? Um, burgundy. They have different shades of color. Women are known to have different shades of color. I don't know if they invented them or something, but that is how women are. Oh, but look at the second pictures here. Look at the second pictures. Going out. If you want to go out, why the woman would have woken up, she was first of all try to do a facial cleaning with facial cleanser, and all the while she's at that, the man is busy working on his laptop. The woman goes to the shower, the man is still working on his laptop. She finished bathing, she's drying up her hair here, 
the man is still on the laptop. Right here, she's trying to tongue or straighten her hair. The man is still on his laptop. Over here, she's combing the air. The man is still on his laptop. But the moment the woman is about to finish addressing, the man goes to the shower. He's done with it. And here they are. Can't you see? The woman woke up quite early to make sure she does her facials, clean her hair, wash her hair, dry her hair, tongue it comb, put on her makeup, and the rest of it. While all the while that the woman was busy doing all of this, the man was busy on his laptop. Eventually, they both finished at the same time. Let's look at another funny but interesting differences between a man and a woman. Look at this one. Look at the woman. The woman looks into a wardrobe and look at quite a number of dresses here. Yet she's saying, I've got nothing to wear. With all these dresses in her wardrobe, yet she's saying she's got nothing to wear. But look at the man. He only has maybe just one dress or clothes in his wardrobe. And he says, well, that would do for me for a week. That is, he is good with just one cloth. The man is saying he is good to go for the entire week. Maybe he'll come back from work, wash the clothes, dry it, and still wear it tomorrow. And probably he's going to wear that same clothes throughout the week, or probably two, two shirts and a trouser, a pair of trousers throughout the week. But the woman with all the clothes in her wardrobe, yet she's still saying she's got nothing to wear. Now look at this, how men and women see themselves in the mirror. See themselves in the mirror. Look at the woman. She's so skinny. Can you see? She's so skinny, yet when she, she looked at herself in the mirror, all she sees is a fat woman. And that's not true. That's what women do on a daily basis. They want to get slimmer, slimmer, slimmer until they become so thin <laughs> and probably the wind will just blow them away. Pardon me, I was just kidding. Now, that, that is how women are. They don't want to be fat at all. Once they notice any little fat in any part of their body, they'll start complaining, looking at themselves in the mirror. Oh, I'm fat. But look at this man. Although he's looking so thin, but yet what he sees in the mirror is a muscular man. A man that is muscular with muscles and flat tummy. Even though his tummy may be protruding, big tummy, but yet what he sees in the mirror is a sturdy man, a man that is strong, muscular, with build. Now, that's the major differences that exist between a man and a woman. Let's look at another example. Look at this place. When women go to the salon and men go to the salon, look at what happened. A woman can spend about a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars to make her hair. But the man, all he just needs is to go to the barber shop or a salon and get a haircut for as low as maybe 500 naira. Why women? They will buy attachments, they will buy human hair, buy, you know, all sort of stuff to make sure they look good and they pay heavily for it. But a man does not have that time and he does not have, not like he doesn't have that luxury of money to throw away, but he just feel all he needs is to shave and cut his hair low and he's good to go. Now let's look at another example, funny but interesting. Now, all of those put together are the differences that exist between a man and a woman. Now, that is how God has created us. That's how God has created and wired us. That women will be different from men and men will be different from women. 
that is not to say we are discriminating. We're just talking about the natural attributes between the natural attributes of a man and a woman and the differences that exist between them. All right. So I think we've come to the end of today's class until I come your way next time on the same place. Please keep safe. Make sure you wash your hands at all times. If you touch dirty surfaces with soap and water and hand sanitizer. And if you must go out with daddy and mommy, make sure you use preventive precaution devices or safety precaution devices so that you would not be infected with the coronavirus out there. All right. Thank you for staying tuned to the, today's class. I hope you have enjoyed the class. If you have any question, do not hesitate to get back to me or drop your question on the website and it will be attended to. Take care until I come your way in the next class. I remain your humble teacher, Mr. Ogunlaro. Bye for now.